How's it going everybody? So today we are going to be making a React Carousel app. Um, you can implement this into your own application, but I'm just going to show you how to use it and how to get started with it. So first things first, what we're going to do is create a React app. We've already got that done. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and open up the link in the description. It'll be called reactslick.neostack.com. And you want to scroll down a little bit until you see this installation right here. Now you want to go ahead and install this first. And once you've gotten that done, you also want to install this. And once you have that done, then we're going to import these. So let's get that started right now. So I'm going to get rid of logo first and I'm also going to get rid of this. Do class app extends component and I'm going to do a import component and right underneath here I'm going to do a render do some of that, do some of this, do one of those, do one of that save it and it should keep working for me. Logo is not defined well because I don't have logo anymore so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and do an H3, say hello. If that works, that works. Cool. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and import this right here. So I'm going to grab all of this and import it into here. And I'm also going to import slider from React Slick. So once you've installed React Slick, you'll be able to see that. And I'm also going to grab a couple photos from unsplash.com. So, right here, I'm going to grab a couple Teslas because greatest car in the world, in my opinion, of course. And I'm going to do, not here, I have, to make a, I have to make a const photos, not cosant, const photos. And let that equal to an array of objects. Inside of there, I'm going to have a Actually, I should do like this. I'm gonna do that, and instead of there, I'm gonna have a name. Oops, let me do this. A name of photo one with a URL of that. That's a long URL. All right. So I'm gonna copy all of this. Add a comma. Do that, and I'll do one more. I'll do photo two, three, and four. I'll grab this one right here, copy all of this, all the way down there, control V, go down, I'll grab one of these, whoops, not that, copy from address, grab all of it, Save it, and I'm also going to grab this one right here, copy image from address, and paste it right in here. Cool, and let me see if any errors show up. Cannot resolve slick from slick CSS. Alright, so we also have to get rid of these little squiggly lines because that, for some reason, doesn't work if we don't have those there. If we have those there, I mean. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the settings for our carousel from React Slick, so I'll do const settings is equal to an object, and instead of there, the, I'm gonna put in a bunch of uh, uh, settings like dots is equal to false, actually let's do true, so the little dots that you see on the bottom of it, dots is true, fade, true, so you would see a fade between photos, infinite, don't know what that does, but I'll say true, um, speed, of the speed of images, so I'll do 500. Um, slides to show, I'll do one. Uh, arrows, so these are the arrows that are going to be on the side of the actual um, carousel. I'll do true there, and I'll do a slides to scroll. I'll do one, and I'll do a class name of slides. Cool, so that takes care of our settings. Alrighty, so now let's create the slider itself or the carousel. So I'm going to do a tag of slider and inside of there I'm going to whoops, da, I'm going to put in three dots and then settings settings for the settings that we made over there and I'm also going to map through all of the photos right here that we got from Unsplash so I'm going to do a photos dot map photo so the individual photo actually let me do that in another curly brace do do some of that, do some of that, and then return. Inside of the return, I'm going to return a div. Oops, not a capital D. 
div and inside of there an image with a width of 100% hopefully that isn't huge probably is going to be huge but source of photo photo dot url let's save and see if that works does it work all right so we see that we have something something is working it's technically working but it doesn't look good it looks nasty and i don't like it so let's go in the css and adjust it i actually already have a pre-made css that i made earlier you can just copy it and paste it in from the description below so no biggie smalls Put it there, save it, and now we have, that's not right. Why is it on the very right side? And where are the arrows at? All right, so there's one arrow there. What happened to this arrow? Uh-oh. Yeah. -oh. Alrighty, so I figured out that was the actual problem was the images themselves. They were too big and too, like, all over the place. So I got some new ones that are pretty much the same size and I also added a padding on the style for the div right here added a width of 100% I think it was still at 100% and added some new content to the uh, app.css so yeah that concludes the tutorial actually let me I also got rid of the dots made that to false so let me put it true see if that still works cool so now you can double click it drag it left or drag it right doesn't really matter you can click the arrows and that's your carousel. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and learned a lot. Uh, make sure you go back and try to add something to your, add, add your own style to the carousel to learn a little bit more than you did from the tutorial to improve as a developer. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.